Uh, okay, guys, uh, this is um, April the 1st, 2022. And I hope y'all can see this hole, this big gaping hole in my yard. <clears throat> now, you're not going to believe this, okay? But this hole has been here for years, and I have noticed it before, and I've, tr I've tried to fill it in. I put dirt in it, and it, I never could fill it up. I put rocks in it, couldn't fill it up. I even filled it, tried to fill it up with water, and it wouldn't fill up. So there's no way of knowing how deep this hole is, okay? But this hole, what you're looking at is the delivery system for the directed energy weapons. I have pictures on my night camera of these directed energy weapons coming out of this hole and other holes in the ground. Now, these directed energy weapons you cannot see with your naked eye. But if you have an infrared camera, and I'm going to show you the kind I'm talking about that I use. This is the kind of camera right here. I don't know if y'all can see. Well, the sun's so bright. I don't know if y'all can see it. This is the kind of camera that I'm talking about. This is one of those hunting cameras, the kind that you kind of strap to the trees, you know, for wildlife and things. This is the camera that I caught the pictures on, that, that caught the pictures. It has pictures of these white looking orbs coming out of this hole, out of, out of this hole and other holes in my yard because I've been moving the camera around. But it, this camera right here caught pictures of the directed energy weapons coming out of this hole and then go, spreading out around my property, around my house. And it just kind of spread out around my house and it's hooking up, plugging into the electrical system at the power pole. Okay, now what these things look like, they look like a light. It looks like a, a bright light. It shows up on the... Uh, on the camera as a bright light, but it has a round disc at the top of it, on the very end, on the top. And then it ha looks like it's divided, uh, it, it, and it, it's divided, and there's other ones in the center of it, other little round disc in the center of it. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it, it but it looks like some kind of pipe when it comes out of the ground, but then it's got, it's got the round disc at the top, and then it's got them all the way down the center of it. And when it spreads out, it showed it spreading out on the, on the pictures that were spread out. When they spread out, it looks like uh, orbs, white orbs floating around in the air. And these orbs, they can spread out, they can spread out and move all the way around your house, okay? I found about 12 of these holes. After I, after I saw the pictures and I realized that these, uh, these things were coming out of the ground, then I started looking for holes around, uh, around in the yard, and I found, I've, so far I've found 12. Okay. I've been trying to cover them up. I've been trying to, like I said, you can't fill them in because they're too deep. So I've been putting the, uh, blocks over them, like this right here. I had this one over this one. But I can't leave these blocks over it because I have to cut my grass. So I'm, I've got to find some other way to cover them up. But it doesn't really do much good to try to cover them up because they dig new ones as fast as you can cover up the old ones. Because they've, they've already dug. I've already found new ones uh, right around in this area. So, but if you are a targeted individual, in other words, if you're getting hit with microwave weapons uh, inside your home that coming through your windows, okay, I can guarantee you that you're going to have some of these deep holes in your yard. And you're going to find them around the areas where you spend the most time. So you're definitely going to find at least one next to your bedroom. You may find more than one, but you're definitely going to find one if you're a targeted individual and you know that you're being hit with electronic weapons. You're going to find at least one of these depots like this around your bedroom. 
you're going to find one most likely around your bathroom, around your living room, your kitchen, or wherever you spend the most time. You're going to find these holes. They dig them so that they can hit you easy with these holes. So, they, in other words, they dig them as close to you as they can get. And when they come up out of the ground, they can come through your windows and hit you. Some of them are powerful enough to come through the walls. But the majority of the ones that I have come out and they hook up to the electrical system at the pole. I have a picture of one of them connecting or plugging in to the smart meter, uh, the breaker box at, the, at my pole where my smart meter is. I also have one that is uh, in the, uh, that is hooked up, that is was moving in the direction towards my outside outlet on my back porch, any of your, if you have any outlets, uh, plug-in outlets on the outside, they'll plug into them and they'll use them. They can also go underneath your house. They can dig holes under your foundation and they can plug into your electrical outlets that are along the outside wall. Inside, your outlets you have inside, but are along the outside walls. They'll plug into them and they will hit you with microwave weapons and they will uh, spray the, the radiation inside your home. If you've noticed a chemical inside your home and you don't know where it's coming from, this is where it's coming from. They're hooking into the electrical system and they're targeting us. Okay. I also, after doing some research, I, found, I read up about it. I also found out that if, uh, if they can't plug into your electrical system, like when I turned off my uh, breaker, then they hooked up and plugged into my car battery. That's why I kept having a dead battery in my car and a dead battery in my truck because if you turn your power off, they're gonna find the next available power source that they can use to torment you with and they will hook up to the batteries in your car and your truck. So if you've been having problems with the batteries in your cars, if you've had any trouble with the coils, I had busted coils, uh, and always, I've already put three new batteries in my truck over the past two, uh, past two years. One for my car, so they will hook up to your battery, and they don't care if they if they t they don't care if they drain your battery. They don't care if they kill it. They don't care. They don't give a crap. They they're using your power that you pay for, your power at your meter box, at your power pole. They're using they're hooking up to your power to target you with and torture you with day and night and they will hook up to your vehicle and use your battery to torture you and target you with at night. And if they can't get to your vehicle, they'll hook up to the battery on your lawnmower. Anything you've got in your yard that is battery operated, they will hook up to it and they will drain it. I found that out to be true because they also, I also ended up having to put, uh, put my lawnmower in the shop three different times. They will tear up your vehicles. They'll tear up your lawnmower. They'll, they'll uh, hook up to your electrical system. They'll use your power to target you inside your own home. But this, this, this video I felt like is important because this is the main delivery. This is how the, the directed energy weapons are being delivered to your property. They're coming up through deep holes in the ground. I can only imagine what kind of tunnels are underneath the ground. Anyway, I found one of these next to uh, uh, the kitchen. I actually found two next to the kitchen. I found two next to the bathroom. I found one next to the living room. I found one next to the den. And I found one uh, next to the window where my mama was sleeping. My mama, I know now, was being targeted because she had all these same symptoms. And I found a really, really big hole next to her bedroom and her, uh, and also the, uh, the, the power pole or the breaker box, the smart meter was right there next to her bedroom. So they had, they had direct contact with my mom and my stepdad. And they tortured them day and night, all day long, all night. Okay, guys, um, I got the, these pictures on my night camera. And if you don't take my word for it, if you don't believe what I'm saying, just get your own camera, get you one of these little night cameras or get you some kind of infrared camera. Uh, put it outside where outside your bedroom or wherever you think you're being uh, you're being targeted at. And listen, you can hear these weapons. 
Sometimes when I'm laying in, uh, laying in bed, I can hear them. I can hear they they don't they don't even care about trying to be discreet about it. They they're they're loud. You can hear them when they hook into your uh, uh, when they hook into your uh, your uh, your around your windows. And if you've got uh, security cameras, oh that's another thing. If you've got security cameras on your house, they will hook into your security cameras and they will use those. Uh, I just had to rip two of my security cameras off the outside of my house because they were losing the batteries in them. <coughs> but you can hear them, uh, they go come underneath the, uh, they'll come underneath your roofing if they can. Like, uh, the, I know I, I found one place where the siding had, the siding had been uh, uh, taken loose and they were coming up, they were moving up under the siding and hitting me through, my, uh, uh, hitting me through the, the cracks uh, around the windows. So any way they can get into your house to hit you, they will do it. But this video is to let you know how the directed energy weapons are being delivered to your property. So I can guarantee you, like I said, if you're a targeted individual, I can guarantee you you're going to find some of these deep holes in your yard, in the ground, around your home. And listen, you guys, if you guys, if you can, if you find any way to fill in these holes, let me know because, like I said, I have tried everything. I have tried rocks. I have tried sand. I have tried dirt. I have tried water, and nothing will fill them in. They're too deep. So if you have any ideas or you have any luck filling yours in, leave me a comment. Let me know so we can share it and get this information out. And please share this video because people need to know this. There's a lot of targeted individuals out there that are being targeted. They don't really know how it's happening. But, hey, God is revealing more to me every day. I've asked him to reveal the truth to me and show me what's going on. And every day is something new that God's revealing to me. This is the latest. All right, I'm going to go for now. I'm going to plug this hole back up. And um, I love you guys. Stay safe.